Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. All that good stuff. Yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to, um, how to basically drill your lace holes so you can get them chunky laces for your Air Force Ones or any other shoe that you're customizing. It's very simple. I do have some bonuses, so stay tuned to see this bonus because in this video, I kind of took a left turn. It wasn't initially what I wanted it to be, but I think you guys are going to like it. All right, so first thing is first, um, I got a pair of old flaves. That's what I call them. You might call them Air Force One, so I got a pair of old Air Force Ones that I haven't been wearing. I love them joints, as you can tell, I'm a big fan of the, of the gum bottom, the gum sole Air Force One, so that's what I got. First thing, what you gotta do is get you some acetone so that you can prep, you can prep, 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 prep that uh, leather so that you can, um, you know what I'm saying, it can, you can apply that glue a lot easier. Or if you're, you're painting them, you can apply the paint a lot easier. So what I end up doing, see this is a big surprise. What I end up doing was I actually wrapped the shoe again. Yes, y'all, I wrapped the shoe once again. So this is the second video where I wrapped the shoe, but that's not it. You got to watch the whole video to see what else I did. So I end up wrapping the shoe again, y'all. I'm so hooked on this concept. I think it looks sweet. But before we get there, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. And make sure you guys comment. I'm trying to give you guys more value from my videos. So if you go to my website, you're gonna you can browse. I got a whole bunch of free ebooks. Um, all that good stuff is on the website. And if you need a list, I'm gonna include a list of everything that I purchased to make this project. If you want to know where I got the fabric from, you're gonna have to message me on Instagram. Um, I know a couple cats, they were kind of upset with me. They was like, yeah, everybody's putting, they were like, everybody's putting all this information out there, but they're not telling us where to get the fabric. But y'all, I ain't trying to get my YouTube video clapped, okay? You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to get my YouTube video clapped. So basically, you could Google this yourself. You could Google this yourself. You could type in so-and-so fabric. It'll pop right up. But... If you want to know where me personally, where I got it from, I will gladly help you. You just got to follow me on Instagram. You DM me. I'm easily, you know what I'm saying? I can I can easily respond to your message. I don't mind responding to your messages because I want to give you guys the utmost value as much as I can. So, yeah, just holler at me on Instagram. Like a couple photos, I give you some information. Okay, how y'all feel about that? That sounds like a good deal. That sounds like a good deal to you. Okay, cool, perfect. Sounds like a good deal to me. All right, so as you know from the previous video, make sure you guys rewatch the previous video too. Them flames were on point. So from the previous video, I got my Dremel 200 and I got the drill bits. Um, these drill bits it was fairly inexpensive. Of course, it's going to be in the list in the link in the description box of course so everything that i am using is going to be in the description box make sure you guys are wearing gloves i didn't wear gloves i didn't wear gloves i didn't wear a mask but make sure you wear gloves make sure you wear a mask because as you see that smoke or fumes whatever stuff is coming up you don't want to be inhaling that most definitely you do not want to inhale that And just take your time. Whatever you guys are doing, make sure you're taking your time to do this. Because it's so easy um, to mess up and destroy your shoe. Especially doing this part. Um, it's fairly simple to, you know what I'm saying, do this. But you don't want to mess up this, this, this step here. So this is the part where I'm um, cutting the, the shoelaces. What you do is, um, mine's is like 80 inches, 60, no, 
it's like my wingspan, you know what I'm saying? So just stretch out the, the string for like the width of your arm span, and that's pretty much it. And it's roughly like it's like 70 some inches. That's a good measurement right there. Yours may differ. Now what I'm doing next is cutting the edges of the rope, cutting the edges of the rope. So once I apply the tape, it'll be a lot more, a lot pointier. You know what I'm saying? Cause it has to be nice and pointy so it can get into that, those lace holes that makes sense. All right, so what I'm doing now, I got my tape and I am just wrapping the edges. You can do it this way, or you can get this shrink wrap, you know, stuff that's on Amazon that looks even better. This is just something quick that you can use for the initial portion. And then once you finish, you can use that, you know, um, that other material. I'm going to put that in the uh, description box below as well to make it look a lot more cleaner. All the only thing I'm doing is just twisting it, you know, twist it like a like a cigar, twist it like a blunt, whatever, and just put it into the holes. This part I prefer to do that, you know what I'm saying, on my foot. You know what I'm saying? If you do it on your foot, excuse my ashiness, but if you do it on your foot, it'll give you a more comfortable feeling. And you don't have to adjust, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to adjust it as much. Because it's kind of hard to take out these uh, rope laces. Like, pretty much once they're in, you know, it's a wrap. Like, they're not coming out. But see, I was going to stop this video here, but then I didn't. I didn't like the look of it, man. I, I felt that the shoe could look ten times better if I wrapped it. So what I did was I grabbed my X-Acto knife. I cut very carefully around the edges, um, but I, I didn't cut the entire Nike check off. I stopped right at the back heel tab. That's where you want to stop. And then I did my best to get all of the 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 the, um, the string from out of that Nike check. And for this method, I didn't use the tape method. I just put the fabric directly onto the pieces, onto the areas that I wanted to glue. Uh, once you've done this a couple times, you'll definitely get the feel for it. Because wherever that E6000 glue is placed on, you know what I'm saying, that joint is sticking. I made a mistake on a, another pair of a while back and the fabric with with the e6000 glue it actually pulled the leather off the shoe like that's how tight the bond is it pulled the leather off the shoe you know what i'm saying and exposed the cushion parts so yeah this this stuff is very very strong very tough now now that i got that the first side on i'm going to cut i'm going to cut now there is a method, um, there is a way so that you can make this look seamless so you're not doing just two pieces. And I can, if you guys comment that you want to see that method, I will gladly do a video for y'all. <laughs> for free, of course. As long as you guys are signing up for my email list, I got you. I got you. You can do whatever you want. Just make sure you're signing up for my email list. All right. So, on in this uh, section, what you want to do is cut very slowly. Cut very slowly, like right where that the sewing line is. You want to cut right there. These scissors that I have are very sharp. They're for fabric. They're fabric scissors. I 
I got them from Amazon. I put the link in the description box, of course. But you, you got to move very slow with that. Because if you don't, you might mess up. So just take your time. You don't want to rush this process here. Just take your time. You got it. I believe in you. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not hard at all. It's not rocket science. It's not quantum physics. You know what I'm saying? You can do this. But if you are doing this, make sure you're wearing a mask. Make sure the area that you're doing it in is well ventilated. And make sure you're having fun. That's most importantly. This is very stress relieving. And you can make a lot of money customizing shoes too. <laughs> so it's stress relieving and profitable. Alright. And coming up is close to the final product. Like... I, I wanted to leave it like that, but I felt like even this was a little plain. So this is what I did. I went to Amazon and I purchased, um, I think it's called embroidery flower, like a flower, you know what I'm saying? Um, embroidery flower patch. That's what I typed in. I'm going to put that in the description box as well, you know what I'm saying, where I got that from. And I used E6000 glue. Oh, that's where I messed up at, y'all. This is where I messed up. And it peeled the fabric up, everything. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's why I did that cover-up. <laughs> that's where I did the cover-up. So that's where I messed up. I prematurely glued, glued that Nike check on there. A little crooked. So that's another thing. Make sure your Nike check is aligned. Or you might run into that the same problem I had. And if you use E6000 glue, it's a pain to removed because that glue will stick <laughs> that junk will stick and even for the e6000 glue i bought some different nozzles i bought some other nozzles for the e6000 glue so that i can kind of pinpoint the uh, direction of the glue you know what i'm saying because this stuff is very sticky and it's it leaves like a trail of glue with it and that with that kit, it comes with um, another little tool, it's like a metal tool where you can do like a fine detail um, for that glue. I'm, I'm gonna put that in the link as well. All right. So now that that patch is on there, the check is on there. Everything's looking good. Everything is sturdy. Make sure you guys click the link below for a free ebook, of course. The ebook is 200 ways to grow your business on social media. Here's the final product. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Got the Gucci Jacquard in black wrapped with the flower embroidery patch. Hit me up on Instagram if you want to know where I got this fabric from in bulk. Peace.